So in this lecture we are going to be talking about Etsy product photography and over here we have the product that is sold in my shop. In fact I don't suggest for you to take pictures of only one. You want to have a bunch of those products all at once that you will be thinking about taking a picture of because you're going to be taking multiple shots of it instead of just taking of one. A few things you need to know when you're getting started with Etsy and product photography is that first off you want to clean the place you're going to be taking pictures of everything has to be all white in the whole background next thing we have to have some light for us to use so I have a mobile light station here it's kind of cool because when you turn this on you can have different streams of light this is a red actual light here taking this out we have the white one or we can put something like this you can see this is pretty cool by the way Lots of different ways for you to have lights for the pictures. What you're trying to do is to light up the area so there is no shade over here. Or just position it in a way there is no shade. Or of course use a different kind of external light. So this is good, but sometimes it doesn't work right. One of the most essential things when you do and take pictures, you want to have a tripod for you to use. So by using the tripod you can position this exactly how you want this to so the light goes in the direction that's correct. So all the shade gets eliminated when you're going to be taking the picture. And if you need more light you just press on it, it gives you more brightness. So this is one tool that I like to use. Another tool you can use is an LED one, which is different. Different kind of lights give you different kind of possibilities for you. And you have to find which one works the best for you to fill up all the different shades that you get here. After you find the best way for you to get the lights in, next step is for you to take pictures. So we need a camera for that. And we have a small power shot camera here, which we can be using. Now, you have to figure out which camera is best for you. You can even use an iPhone. I like the professional cameras because they give me a lot of different things here. We have the viewfinder. We have different settings that we can do zoom in and zoom out and they're made for product photography and of course you should definitely have the tripod to position this in the way you want this to so once you put this in you're going to be tripoding it and you're going to be leaving it there and then you can have the lights giving the light over there in a different direction and then you can take pictures being it stabilized. Now for those of you who like to use the phone it's also a possibility. Sometimes the phone you will have to do more edits for that. Some of the phones such as the iPhone do a very good job at a lot of things. I am not a proponent of using flash photography especially on the phone because it sometimes messes up the picture but you can see that how dark it actually looks like so you definitely need the light source which is so essential and important for you to use so having lights having tripod is important now next thing I also suggest for you to do is to have the prop which we used before so having a prop is also essential your photography because you're going to be positioning the product on the prop and you're going to be taking pictures it's going to give a lot more taste to it and you can definitely check out some of those things that I sell and the photography that I do for my products in my Etsy shop as well this is where I sell those kind of things 
and I have created an experimental shop just to show you how well it actually does. So over here you can see I'm positioning it in a way I want the picture to actually be. So first you have the vision where you want to put the product, how you position the prop, and you take the picture. And that's the next thing you're going to be doing. Pretty much putting the phone, positioning it where you want this to be, focusing on it and taking the picture. And then you're going to be zooming out more and taking another picture. You're going to be taking one from this side as well. As you're done with that, and you have to take multiple pictures because you don't know which one is going to look best. And if you see, see this getting dark here, this is why we are using the lights. You're putting the camera once again. You're using the phone right here. We are snapping one very close to the object farther away, and this is for Etsy, very essential you have a farther away picture so it will fit as a thumbnail. And if you don't like to use the phone or you want to use something more professional, you can use the camera, doing the same exact thing with the camera itself, and then of course this comes out much, much better than taking the picture in another situation and when you take pictures take many pictures you want to have many different angles and to keep taking it it is essential for you to do this because some of them are not going to come as good as you want them to come out so when you're done with that you'll keep on putting sometimes you want to have multiple products we're going to be sounds you have a few of them over here positioning them in a certain way so it looks interesting. You can see that sometimes the white will have to be repositioned in a different way so we don't have any of those things making it look not good. You can see that there is too much white here. This place is getting too over brightness. Have to move it back a bit so now it looks better. Now we have a multi variation kind of a listing of a bunch of different products over here and I take the picture. I'm going to take another picture and so on. Once you're done with this, you're moving the prop once again back here, positioning one element, this one, and what we're going to be doing next is just taking the picture of this and taking it. Sometimes it's not going to come up well. If it doesn't come up well, make sure you press on it so make sure that the picture looks good. This one is, you can see that it has too much brightness. Too much. If you see that, there is actually something in here that lets you change the plus and minus in here. That's what I'm going to be doing right now. And it makes it, you see, the plus and minus is adjusting it to brightness, making it really dark or making it much more brighter. So you have to pick what you want and then take a picture. I really like this setting. And I love it on the camera. This looks good. And then I take the picture. And it's up to you to decide which pictures you want to take and how many of them. And I keep on moving in different directions and taking the picture. And then I'm going to be repositioning it in a different method, putting it here, and doing the same exact thing. And of course, after you're done, you're gonna go ahead and take a look at the actual screen and check what you have 
did, what you did and everything else. So you can tell if it comes out good and if it doesn't, if this one is not that good. And keep on looking and seeing the results of what you did. And if it doesn't look good, that means you have to come back and take more pictures. And this one is bad. You can see this is really blowy. It didn't come out. This one you can tell it's just the background was not good enough. It was just way too bright, too, too much white. And this one right here you can't even see it because of that. So that's actually a sensor for you to review their images on the camera afterwards. And if it doesn't come out as good as you want it to, come back. So it focuses it and keep taking pictures. So we have a bunch of different pictures for us to use. And then, voila, you're done. And time for the next project.